Good morning, USC. This is Katherine Freeman with News 4, sitting down with Michael Park, student body president, to talk about the report and honor roll that student government recently Katie, put out. Thank you for having me this morning. Of course. So let's start out. What gave you the idea for the report and honor roll? Yeah. So more than anything, you know, Katie, we wanted to figure out a way to give USC students skin in the game in mm -hmm. what happens at the State House. And so uh, one of the, the marquee, I think, kind of talking points of going to school at South Carolina is that our campus is literally on the doorstep of our state capitol. Of course, yeah. And so we wanted to figure out a tangible way for our student government to have an impact on the decisions that are made over there. And so um, what we ended up deciding upon was a report and honor roll, which is obviously what you just mentioned that was just released, you know, uh, less than two weeks ago here that right. we did in, in conjunction with Clemson student government. And basically what this is is a way for us to pinpoint legislation that's been voted on and passed at our state house in the last session, so mm -hmm. um, and give legislation that matter to students point values, and okay. then to go through every single member of the state house and the state senate and see how they voted. And so let's talk about this point value system. Yep. What bills are going to be weighted more or less? Absolutely. So um, one point bills were considered to be legislation that had little to no impact kind of on the student experience in South Carolina. Working all of its way up to five point bills, which were things that have an enormous impact on being a student in South Carolina. Right. Um, and our 10 point bills, the most, or the only 10 point bill was <laughs> the budget bill. Um, okay. How our state elected representatives supported um, the university's budget. And so more than anything else, you know, if a state legislator supported the budget, mm -hmm. the chances of making the honor roll were a little bit higher. And so we kind of had to figure out exactly what that grading scale would look like. But I think that the system that we found really worked very efficiently. That's fantastic. So do you think students are really going to take that into account next time they're voting for their representatives? Yeah. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. That's certainly part of the intent is that, you know, about 60% of our campus, our, our student body is from South Carolina. So right. they live in state, they live in the greater Columbia area and the low country, you know, um, Greenville, Spartanburg, wherever it may be um, in the upstate, meaning when they're home, they can vote for their state senator, their state rep. Right. And we hope that our students will look at the honor roll and say, oh, there's my representative, there's my senator, or say, where is my senator? Yep. Where is my state house representative? And why aren't they supporting higher education? And so, you know, the point of, of the honor roll as a whole isn't so much to criticize and call out elected leaders who don't necessarily support the university right. on a consistent basis. The point of it is to really recognize and to celebrate, in a sense, those elected leaders that do in hopes mm -hmm. that those that do not feel motivated to do it in the future. And so I certainly hope that the fact that the majority of our student body is from in-state, that students will read it, take a peek at it, see if their elected leaders are on it. If they are, perfect. If they're not, maybe give them a ring. Tell them that you're a constituent of theirs and that you'd like to see them support the university more. Now, for the students watching, where can they access the honor roll? Yes, so it's located on um, our student government webpage, um, as well as a joint website that we have um, kind of put together al along with Clemson student government that has a PDF of the entire report. And so we also have hard copies available in the student government office, too. Perfect. For today, this has been Katherine Freeman with News 4. Have a great day, USC.